Hey riders, this is Cody from Motorcycle MV with the very first video session um, that will be on the site. Um, I'm super excited about it. Um, if you're watching this video, it means that you've joined the MD Inner Circle um, to learn more and to get more free content about your motorcycle and how to diagnose it, how to fix it, um, how to do whatever you need. Um, in this video specifically, I'm going to be trying to hone in on a way to diagnose your bike in less than five minutes when it comes to your carburetors. The bike's been sitting for eight months, a year, two years, ten years. I have found a surefire way to really diagnose exactly what's going on with the carburetion as well as your ignition. It also helps check your compression all at the same time. Um, yes, compression gauges and uh, electrical stuff may be a part of it, but this allows you to say, hey, ignition system's fine, compression's fine, valve train is fine, and I have enough of all of those things to make my carburetors be the only issue that there is. Um, let's just get r right into it. Um, your best friend is going to be starter fluid. Um, it's a f very, very flammable substance that you'll be applying directly into the intake system of your motorcycle. Uh, you finally pull your bike out. Like I said, it's been this amount of time and it won't start. And you put a new battery in it, it still won't start. And you just keep cranking on it, keep cranking on it, keep cranking on it. You don't know what it is. Um, instead of pulling the spark plugs and checking spark and, and doing compression tests or leak down tests, don't do any of that. Grab some starter fluid all right, with, with a known good battery that can turn a motor over efficiently, what you're going to do is remove any of the obstructions, like as far as the airbox goes, the cover for it. You want to gain access to the mouth of that carburetor. I have some props to kind of show you guys, but intake side of the carburetor for you old vintage style bikes. This is a CB350. Uh, um, engine side, intake side, you want to try to gain access, the closest access to inside of this. And if you can gain that by just simply spraying inside the air cleaner and you can see the mouth of what's being sucked in, then um, that's great too. But um, I, I like to pull the covers off completely just so I can get the air filter out of the way that will be sucking and absorbing some of the particles from this engine uh, starting fluid. But what you want to do is key on, kill switch on, get the bike to where you would be starting it normally. Take your starter fluid, spray maybe two sprays, three sprays max um, into the intake port while you're turning the motor over and that's important. Um, you can do it spray spray and then try to start it and it may work the same. I like to do it all at the same time if at all possible. You may need three hands um, to get that job done but sometimes it's very very simple. Um, I forgot to start my starter time clock trying to keep this under five minutes but um spraying that into the intake manifold will allow your motor to say hey the jets are clogged in the carburetor but because you are forcing fuel or a burnable substance into the motor I can use it and I can fire off of it that's what you want to achieve um, if you spray it all of a sudden it starts right up boom, starts starts increasing an in RPM it takes the throttle then cuts right back off where it only starts for a second and a half. You start it, use your holding the starter button, no 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 and it shuts back off again. Great. You just diagnosed it. You have ignition, you have spark. There's nothing wrong with those systems. You have compression because it's you have enough compression to fire the motor with the right amount of fuel added to it. Um, that means your valve train's probably intact as far as in a tight intake or a tight exhaust valve or a loose intake or a loose exhaust valve. I'm not saying you don't need that, but it's enough there that with a clean carburetor, with a perfectly clean carburetor, it should be running. Um, very, very quick, very easy. Um, it's a quick way to even diagnose, um, like on twin cylinder bikes, to diagnose that one cylinder is not firing, one is. Um, or on four cylinders, one cylinder is firing, one isn't. Or if it's too lean of a mix or too rich of a mixture. Um, if you add this starter fluid to it and it's too rich, it's falling on its face, it will do it even more 
and that will tell you that it's way too rich. I've jetted it wrong, I've done a number of things wrong to make it fall on its face. Um, if you have a very lean mixture, you're backfiring going on, or it just won't idle correctly, or you're dropping cylinders, using starter fluid will help diagnose that carburation issue. Carburetor issue, sorry. Um, it's very, very easy. It's a surefire, reliable way to check that kind of stuff. It's just saying that when I add fuel, I want to run better. That's what the motorcycle is kind of telling you. Um, and that's exactly what you're doing. It's a very simple way to do it.